Welcome to another vlog guys. Um, today I finally decided to unbox the new keyboard. It's been sitting all packaged up in my room for a while and I just didn't have the time to unbox it. But today is the day. The guys from EpoMaker sent me this huge box and they said it's more than a keyboard inside. But I have no clue what they actually sent. Let's see, I imagine this is the keyboard. Then I guess this is another set of keycaps and what seems like a whole lot of switches here. It's gonna be fun trying these out in the next few days, that's for sure. But I don't even know what this is. It says switch tester. Oh, and it seems like they also sent me a nice cable. I'll probably have to defer the unboxing of this one to another episode. It's way too much for this one right now. Okay. When it comes to switches, we have Jade Blossom, Shadow Black, Bluebird, Wisteria, Budge, Budgerigar, <laughs> I'm saying that correctly, and Dawn Pink. And of course, the cable, but I still don't know what this one is. And why is there two of them? But let's take a look at the keyboard now. I'm very excited. I'll shut up and I'll let you enjoy the unboxing. Let's see how I can connect this thing. It comes with a wireless dongle, so I'll probably just plug that into the monitor, but I know the keyboard also has Bluetooth. Before I test it out fully, I wanna check a few more things here. First, I wanna see what kind of switch is in the keyboard right now. And from the looks of it, I think it's probably Dawn Pink, but maybe I'm wrong. And second, I really wanna check out this keycap set. I'm curious why they sent another one. It seems like it's Egyptian themed, which is cool, but Man, I don't have time to replace that now. One thing I do want to replace is at least the position of the option key and let's say the command key. All right, let's put the keyboard to the test. It's been quite a busy day at work, but there is something I wanted to code up real quick before I go to bed. In my free time recently, I've been working on this little driving game to kind of pick up some new skills and make something fun. And one of the areas that I got deeply interested in was the physics engine. And the library I'm using is called Canon ES. And while for the most part it works as expected, as I was testing my little car here, I kind of discovered a bug in the physics engine itself. So I was actually hoping to fix this bug today and submit a nice little PR. So that's my task right now. The bug is one of those classic off by one errors, so it should be really easy to fix. But for whatever reason, my test kept failing. So I decided to do a quick back of the napkin sanity check. It's really good to remember high school physics from time to time. But after a while, I did get the test to pass and I was so happy about it. But man, this took me a lot longer than I expected. So I need to go back to sleep now and I'll check in how my PR is doing tomorrow. Thank you. 
with great anticipation, I opened up my pull request page only to find out nobody had the time to look at it at all. And all this time I was kind of secretly hoping for some praise from the maintainers. But hey. <laughs> so I decided to simply link my own fork as a dependency and use that until the PR gets approved in the main repository. But this was still a huge win, because I was able to delete quite a lot of code from my game, especially the stuff that I was doing with the interpolation. But now I really wanted to see what the switch tester thingy was. And to be honest, I thought this would be an assortment of different switches, but it seems like they are all the same. If you could see my face right now, you'd see visible confusion. But hey, I fixed the bug in the physics engine and that makes me happy. If you enjoyed the vlog, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.